Alright guys, welcome back! I'm Sink. And I'm Echo. And we are back once again. We have finished asking Grossberg questions about the DL6 incident. And we are heading back to Fay and Co. To look for uh, any files that my, Maya, me, May, me, me, my, you, four, um, had any files on, uh, Mr. Red White of Blue Corp. Yep. Alright, it's funny, looking at this room seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. Yeah. Alright, let's take That was the wrong one. I was like, move, as in move. Yes. Uh, I'm assuming the case files is where you're gonna... Yeah. Gonna look. All the cases a chief ever worked on are on fire here. They are in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? Really? I am assuming it's my last name. T U I know W White. Mm -hmm. The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh. To be fair, I want to look at the others too. Right. Let's see if there's a if there's a record in this file that catches my eye. Ha 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 Missy Faye. Hmm. Huh. Should I take a look? Yeah, yeah, read it. I have tarnished the Faye name, leaving only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the ESP that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. Ooh. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was a man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who made his fortune, fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm, the record stops there. So, Mia knew Grossberg. Okay, really? Really? Mm -hmm. We found out yesterday that, that he took her under his apprenticeship. Mm -hmm. Gosh. All right, J through S, see if there's anything there. J through S, nothing much here. Maybe I'll just skim some of this. Sure. Skim. Uh, well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest part here is at the end in the S. Suicide? Ew. She had a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. Just writing on most of these in pencil. White? This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm, let's find the most disturbing one. Newspaper clipping added to court record. Let's take a look at let's take a look at that, see whether it's up. Article about a politician suicide. The word white is written in pen at top. At okay. Top. There's nothing we can't check it, so there's no we don't have more details, but there's something. Hmm. Interesting. I think We've checked everything. I don't think we're gonna get anything more. Yeah. Just leave it be. Mm -hmm. Alright. The sky is blue and so am I. There's that, that hotel right across the way. Okay, right, so I don't care what they fucking said. That Building mm -hmm. that hotel has to be a good 100 feet apart from this room. This Probably, building, yeah. there's no way that lady could have heard that fucking. Clap. I agree. I agree. Especially with the window open or mm -hmm. closed. This yeah. window would be closed. That window is open. That one, if both windows, maybe I think, oh, there's maybe a chance she heard that clock. Mm -hmm. But no, no. All right, let's go somewhere else now. Hmm. The detention center. Maybe, should we talk to him about this? Make a present that, see what happens. 
I found this in Mia's file. So, she was investigating Red White, as I expected. Well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could present this in court. Not a bad idea. Alright. Okay. Let's see if, uh, I don't know if uh, Maya's in the uh, detention center mm. or not. Apparently, uh, Miss May isn't questioning. Okay. I doubt they'll let me talk to her today. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. The bellboy seems to be out. Huh? The sound of water coming from the shower. Okay. Someone seems to enjoy washing the showers. Good to know. Okay. Because it is why I was like, yeah. bed making. <laughs> no telling what the bell boy would do to me. Screwdriver is still stuck in drawer. I better not touch it. Not telling what the bell boy would do to me. I like how the bell boy haven't done anything to me. Yeah. Does that mean I need to go back to blue court? It's possible. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to a ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Dude, dude, just keep a fucking tape recorder on you. Yeah. Do I make myself clear? No. Transparent. Transparent. What happened if I show him it? Normally probably not a good idea, but... No, actually, I don't want to show it to him in case he has whatever. Mm hmm So, yeah. like... Huh. I think we're past needing to talk about... I got to put this guy on the spot and... Quit. Oh, okay. So... I think we do need to put him on the spot. Stop that! Your heart gaze is giving me goosebumps. Mhm. Mm yeah, we need to. We need to confront him. There's my eyes and nose and my mouth. But of course, I jest. You need not restrain your mirth, my friend. All right. Guess we do present that. I know. I really don't want to. It's the to. only clue that Maya left me, yeah. I don't think, yeah. I, I better, better not make, make it. I, may, I, may, I better make this one count. Mr. White, see this. It's an article describing a suicide of a politician. Thoughts? He was embezzling, he was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in May's office. Miss Maya? Yeah. Yeah. She had the file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know you did this did to politician. You blackmailed him. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all the suicide cases that Maya investigated. Mia. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong. What is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Maya. Me, Maya. Yes. The secretary's office, hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir, I'll send someone in right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're wrong. He wants to hear he's right. Mm -hmm. So I want to say you're wrong. 
You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What I should be doing now is going after you. Just why are you insinuating? Mia was onto you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May ta tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be... Even a child could word it out, Mr. White. You did it. Secretary office. We won't be needing that an escort from Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One minute, moment, please. White, is that you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I have changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The, Ma the Maya Fay case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, is a very important witness. I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Qu quietude. I told I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. This man, the man standing in front of me, he looks dazed, but it, but it could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Mr. White, this is another one of those. Chief prosecutor. I do not believe you're in a position to freely offer your opinion to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police. Now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Maya. How dare you! I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss Maya's killer. The case at... The case at is as good as settled. No lawyer for any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyer associations, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stup stupendously inept, they can make even you look content. Competent. Competent, yes. I, I feel faint. Detective Gunshu reporting, sir. I don't trust this guy. Ah! Butts! Harry Butts! Right, actually. Phoenix Wright, and my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Butts was the murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe. I present you the man who killed Miss Maife. What? Take this despicable human into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. All right. Wow. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right. Mr. Wright. Oh, my. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be on the other side. Yeah. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. <laughs> now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean you... I explained what happened to, to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother. My sister. And now you! This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Uh, well... Help me break out of here. I can't ask her to defend me in court. She yeah. has no ding, but cheer me on in court. Well, you could cheer me on in, in court. Cheer for you? You mean like a cheerleader? Huh? huh? Well, oh. uh, yeah, like that. All right, leave it to me. Huh? huh? Oh, I better go get a uniform and some pom-poms. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way! No, really, I was kidding, but thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. 
But but I can't sit here, just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay. Then come to me, come to Quirk tomorrow. Oh, oh, okay, I'll be there. I'll show her a thing or two. It's the beginning of a new century, yet with crime it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, the limit of three days was put in in the initial trial cases. Yeah. Almost all finish in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end in up in the defend defendant's chair myself. Tomorrow's the true culprit will appear as a witness. This is it. It's me or him. Well. All right. Here we go. September 9th. 9.52 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Oh, you. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case is getting decided today. Ah, for Phoenix, look! Prosecutor Edward. I received a call from the Public Prosecutor Office yesterday. He told me whatever Mr. White said today will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have to go in good faith that the judge will listen to me. What, does White have the judge in his pocket too? So you're saying I'm gonna be guilty, end of story? I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright, anything. Why, why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty, the guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who's guilty and who is innocent. All I can do, hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? For Phoenix? This is really weird because everyone else comes right. Mm -hmm. So with her calling him Phoenix, I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. Well, court will be opening for session soon. What? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. He's not... I'll be defending myself. What? Okay, let's do this. I mean, all the defense do is question the witness, apparently. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, look, there she is right mm -hmm. by my side. Is that allowed? Oh, yeah. Okay, the court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well. Mr. Edward, your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are clearly quite cl are already quite clear to the court. Today we will hear the testimony of another witness to the defense to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went too far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edward why his witness didn't testify before? It's like it's like he already knows why. Hmm, if anyone's going to raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. Okay. Mr. Edgeworth, you owe me your own explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Mia Fay? Hmm. I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, at the time, I thought that Miss May's Opening opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. 
Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. What? Great. Great. He gets to show off and I get nowhere. I like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. I can't wait for him to like use his fucking cool. <laughs> Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage. No. Dear gods. Uh -huh. What's your name? Yes, that's what I said. Oh dear. Do my uh, l luscious could Locutions? Locutions confuse. Name! Oh, Edward, take no shit. Those, Those two <laughs> are great together. <laughs> my name is, is Red White, but my friends call me Blank N Ninko. What? N Nino. I'm the CEO, or use more of a common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim, Miss May, my, me a fay. I'm gonna keep messing that up. That would be a negatory. No, I did not. Dot. You were at the Gate Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there. <laughs> why, why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? <sighs> <laughs> Dear God. I hope you've made I hope you've made peace with your God, Mr. Lawyer. Let yeah. him have it, Phoenix. Witness testimony. Let's see. It was about nine o'clock, I believe. I was quiet quietly perusing what pres God damn it. I hate- See, this is the thing that always messed me up when playing the game, is that I, I, I was like, okay, I didn't have to say it out loud, but, uh, oh, or, I mean, perusifying, perusifying, or, that's reading to, to you, some papers by the window. When I heard a bedlam coming from outside, surprised, I turned to the look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She too was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction, and it was all over. God, I hate his words. I could read him. <sighs> hmm. If things occur as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Er, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. All right. All right. Oh wait, that's present. Okay. Wait, okay. I just want to see my stuff first. Mm -hmm. Live for a bit. Conversation. Grass chart. Dodge to the right, but she was caught and struck. Wiretap. Okay. How do you know what time it was? Because I am absolute, absolutely perfect, you know? No, 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 you're not getting away with that. You were so mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. So what was the proper term for secretary again? Anyway, Miss May ordered the room service at, for nine o'clock. It happened soon after the room service had arrived. Hmm, that's what Miss May said, too. Hmm. I want to press further. True, the boy who brought the coffee saw Miss May. But he testified that he did not see you at the time. 
<laughs> Is this your concern? Silly lawyer, Miss May received coffee outside of the room. Of course he would not have seen me. It, he would need the x-ray vision to pull something like that off. Hmm. Tell us, what were you doing at the time? Papers. By window, you mean the one directly across from May and Co. Law Office? Correct. That's the only window you see. And you were reading papers? Correct. The Gatewater is a businessman's hotel, and I am busy. I am a busy man who needs had business to do. Bedlam. A yeah. bedlam. Right. It must have been a been when you attacked, I assume. I hold it every day. Mm -hmm. So you're reading your paper until you heard that sound. But of course, I am no snoop. Peeping out of windows at night. But you were out. No, no snoop. snoop. Yeah, yeah right. right. You made a career out of snooping. Spiky haired. Really? What did you just say directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony? Miss May clearly stated that her assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud, proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? Are you fucking kidding me? Counting both eyes, 40. 40? Don't add them together. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, whose side is the judge on anyway? And what did you do then? I called Miss May over. What was Miss May doing at that time? Well, we know that. So proper. Mm -hmm. Weeping opening. Right, did you know that she was being tapped? Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. That's true. It doesn't. All right, I care not. She's acting alone when she taped the phone of Miss of this Fay woman. You make a good politician, Miss White, Mr. White. <laughs> After all, I am El Presidente. Continue. Yeah, this is one. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course. Come, Padre. I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran over to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? Oh my god. As you know, I'm always absolutely perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. And then I present. Mm -hmm. Because... Those are always some of the best words to hear from the judge. Could you please add this to the testimony to reflect? Because then that is like, okay, there's the contradiction. Yep. Wait, right there. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. What's this? You said the victim ran to the left, but that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. <laughs> <laughs> it's simple, you must have misheard her. I uh, know, left and right no, are completely no. sound completely different. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here, and the victim was here. If the victim ran to the left, as you claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. Mm -hmm. She would have been running into a dead end. But don't you find that odd? Uh, yes, that face, I need to capture that face as well. Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe Ma he's really did see the victim run to the left because he was there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> did he witness the killing? Wait a second. Mr. Wright? Yes, yes your yeah. honor. Miss May says right and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Both are right. Mm-hmm. Both we 
witnesses are telling the truth. For once. <laughs> for once. Ha! I doubt it. Or rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. I love, I love this. Like, like he lets his guard, his, his uh, persona slip a little bit. <laughs> or I mean, let's be professional about this. There is one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He, he, he was not viewing the crime from the hotel? If he was not the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Fay and Co., of course. More what specifically, he was standing here. Show the court where Mr. White was standing. Um, it's it's present. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is where he was. Look, when the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point, to him it would appear as she ran to the left. Please, there's no time for jokes and no taste. That's where the killer was standing. Exactly. Oh. Order. I will have order. Anyone disturbing the order, this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Raf Scallion? Postulations of the defense are a distortion to the truth, Your Honor. And dude, they do seem a bit far fetched. <laughs> You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear for this. I apologize. Your Honor, I might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well. Let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. <laughs> 